to Bethany with the switch rod. It's uh, November 13. We're over here at uh, the lower uh, pond over here at uh, Bethany Lakes. Just uh, we're here by Joe Farmer Recreation Center. We're uh, bringing out the uh, six weight uh, fly rod or switch rod that we picked up the other day. Uh, this is our second one in our uh, uh, arsenal. Uh, but this time we went with the Echo six seven weight um, traditional fly or a reel, and we're going with a braided line and a four pound tippet. And then uh, for the actual fly line, uh, we're not using the uh, switch rod. Instead, we're just uh, overweighting it with an eight weight um, weight forward line. Uh, the other one that we have uh, has, actually has a five weight. Um, Rio switch uh, chucker line, which uh, works out really well. So the, we're going to see if we can fish this one traditionally, as well as uh, maybe some some switch casting as well. Uh, the other day when we were here, posted some some video, and we were able to uh, show some a couple of bass getting caught. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can do this again. All right, we're just going to take a look at uh, what we have here. We'll get a cast started. Let's take out some line. Normally we'll be uh, seeing them kind of hanging out here in the shallows. And all we're gonna do is just quickly flip with the uh, rod and it feels really good with the uh, eight weight. So uh, this next series of uh, video, you just see different casts that we're using. Some just the traditional uh, uh, fly cast. In other cases, with kind of a modified variation of a, a switch cast where um, we're actually using the the longer length of the rod to pick up on the line and then uh, shoot it out there. There's uh, just a quick roll cast. Another um, slight variation of a switch cast and a roll cast. And here shortly you'll see how we'll use the uh, uh, l length of the rod to pick up on the line, get it up in the air, and then we'll just uh, cast it to where we want it and able to uh, change directions if need be. And I think in a couple of cases we'll, we'll even um, go with a two-handed cast but right now it's no need to, to really uh, use the full uh, capability of the switch rod in this uh, small pond. And now we're just picking up the line and shooting it back out there. It's uh, very easy to uh, manipulate the line with that extra two foot of um, uh, rod length and initially easy to pick up on the line as well. There's a hit. Not sure what he is. Looks like it may be maybe a bluegill. Oh, nice size bluegill or a mix of a bluegill and a shell cracker. Not bad. Uh, we can see some, some bass moving around in the shallows here. It looks like they're chasing uh, these little bait fish. So, see if we can get one to take our, our uh, fly here. We switched over from that Mardi Gras near deer to a uh, to a white near deer. Only brought two flies with us. And we're just mainly testing out the uh, switch rod. And so far we like what uh, we've seen, especially with this uh, way forward eight weight uh, fly line. Yeah, we can see some bass kind of lurking here in the shallows, but uh, it looks like they want something bigger. Maybe uh, some of those bluegill that they've been chasing. Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe we can get one to hit. There we go. Let's see what this guy is. Yeah, it looks like a little, little bluegill. All right, well, that counts. <laughs> Got him. There's a little bass looking at it. He went for it. 
<laughs> All right. They're chasing these little little bait fish in the water. And there's some bigger ones here, but uh, we ended up getting this guy. End up getting this guy. Cool beans. We'll go let him go here. And maybe he'll get a little bit bigger. Okay, uh, we figured out a pattern. We're gonna see if it works again with the with uh, another bass. Uh, we had several that uh, hit and ended up missing out on uh, uh, on those, but we did get one to finally take. And what we're doing is we're we're sight casting, and we're using a white near deer because that allows us to see it uh, be dragged across the bottom. And when we do that, we're able to watch the fish. Uh, react to the bait, or in this case the lure, uh, or I mean the fly, and in that manner we've been able to get uh, that one and miss several others. All right, to give you an idea of what the uh, bass are doing, they're eating these little uh, bluegill fingerlings. And you can see a bunch of them here in the shallows. Let's see if I can point at them. It's over here by my rod tip, you'll just see a bunch of these guys run off here. There they go. So, bottom line, uh, that's what they're hitting on. At least the bigger ones. The smaller ones are going for uh, that uh, little near deer that we're using, uh, kind of bouncing along the bottom. Cool beans. All right, uh, we had a great morning over here at uh, Petri Lakes. Ended up uh, getting a few bass, um, missing a few. I uh, also got some bluegill. Used the six weight uh, fly rod with the traditional six, seven weight uh, fly reel and the eight weight forward, uh, weight forward line. And we started out with a Mardi Gras near deer, then we went with a, um, a white near deer. And uh, did have some bluegill and, and whatnot uh, chasing our uh, bait, but bottom line, uh, we didn't get as many as we could. But, uh, we only brought two flies with us. We got the uh, white one and the Mardi Gras near deer that uh, we like using. Uh, also, uh, to cap things off, we ended up getting one of these Frisbee golfs, golf disc um, looks like it has some initials D J F and on the back it says Clyde so if anyone uh, wants to claim it just uh, give us a give us a little uh, whatever uh, comment or uh, email us at uh, our website at stockertroutfishing.com all right till next time we'll catch you all here and good luck and good fishing